so all here is a simple op amp circuit which is based on lm741 which is used to sense the temperature so what it does is basically uh, we have a thermistor in the circuit which helps us to convert <coughs> Uh, uh, the temperature into a voltage. Let us see how it functions. So basically for this circuit, we have LM741 which is used as a differential amplifier. What is the functionality of differential amplifier? The functionality of differential amplifier is to get the difference between uh, mm, the input terminals of the operational amplifier and then uh, amplify it. That's the um, functionality of differential amplifier right so now uh, you need to provide input to these terminals that's the uh, simple thing so lm741 circuit is very very straightforward now the core functionality of the circuit is temperature sensing so in this the temperature sensor is connected in a bridge configuration so you can see here we have a bridge which is comprising of R7, R8, R5 and R6. So to <coughs> one end of this bridge we have 5 volts uh, which is connected to a 470 ohms which acts as a uh, current uh, <coughs> limiter and then we have a uh, ground on the other end of R6 and R8. So this is a bridge configuration and the center of these resistors are tapped and provided to the op amp for to get the differential input. So um, R5 and R6 uh, terminals are connected to non-inverting uh, uh, inverting terminal, and R7, R8 are converted to the are connected to the non-inverting terminal. So what happens is <coughs> when the temperature increases, okay, so thermistor uh, understand that when a temperature increases the resistance of this thermistor gets reduced. When the resistance gets reduced, what happens? The voltage that is developed at this node uh, gets reduced because you will be having a lower temperature on the lower arm of this voltage divider and you will have a lower voltage here. As the voltage gets reduced to this uh, inverting terminal, what happens? The difference between the non-inverting and the inverting terminal increases which correspondingly increases the output of the differential amplifier that means remember that as the temperature increases the output of this op amp increases now if you take another case as the temperature reduces the resistance increases as the resistance increases the voltage at this terminal increases and <coughs> you have a um, input that is connected to the inverting terminal which is increasing that means the output voltage is reducing because the difference is reducing output reduces simple right now if we see this all this scenario uh, we have a fixed voltage that is being connected to the non-inverting terminal so if we change the values of r7 and r8 or the gain resistors R1 and R3, we can change the sensitivity of this particular uh, circuit. Um, like uh, what we mean by sensitivity is the effect of uh, uh, change in temperature with variation in output voltage can be um, clearly seen. Or we can actually, um, if, if, for example, if we say if there is a change in 1 degree centigrade, there is a specific voltage output that will change, right? So we can reduce or increase to increase the sensitivity of the circuit. So we can play around with these particular resistors R7, R8 and R1 and R3. A very simple circuit, right? Now let us uh, just try to simulate this, okay? So um, if you see, this is the 5 volts, right? And then for, for a given thermistor uh, value of 10k, if you see the output, okay, you can see we have uh, uh, a voltage of around 0.9 volts, that means 900 millivolts. Let us just eliminate this because we don't want to measure this, right? So let us try to uh, see again to, to get a clear output voltage. You can see here we have a 900 millivolts uh, of the 
uh, at the output. So that means a given thermistor value, uh, and uh, you need to know the thermistor value from the thermistor data sheet. So uh, when you measure the voltage here, uh, you can you know what is the temperature and then uh, uh, what is the resistance of this particular thermistor so that that voltage is developed and then output voltage. So that means when you are writing a firmware or when you are <coughs> using the circuit to automate something, uh, you need to map the temperature versus output voltage in a table and then um, correspondingly use this circuit right now if you see here what is the voltage that is expected here it is around 2.5 volts right because this is 10k and 10k uh, and you can see 2.5 volts and now the, this is 10k and 10k you can see again it is 2.5 volts so um, this voltage is again uh, um, based on the voltage divider we get a specific voltage here which is around 2.1 volt and you can see here this is around uh, uh, 2.15 or something so this is uh, this difference is uh, um, amplified to get a voltage of uh, 900 uh, millivolts at the output and one odd component that we see in this entire configuration is this capacitor you can see um, the capacitor is used basically to filter the noise around this area and also improve the uh, bandwidth of this particular uh, circuit. So we will talk about uh, the capacitor usage in a differential amplifier in another topic. Uh, for now, we have used a specific uh, capacitor value. Uh, let us stick to that functionality. And then now let us try to just simulate again. Okay, uh, we will close everything for simplicity, and then let us try to start again. Uh, and other than clearing, we, we are just closing, we can also clear. Now, here what uh, we are doing is we have a specific output voltage, right? So, in this, um, let us assume our uh, temperature has increased. When temperature increases, as we said, the resistance is going to reduce, right? Um, so, that means the resistance is going to reduce, the voltage across this is going to um, <coughs> reduce so let us try to run this okay and let us probe it here okay so there is a very uh, less voltage change now let us assume we make it 8k or something okay you can see there is a variation of millivolts now let us just try to make it 13k where the temperature has got reduced okay you can see there is a variation so that means uh, the sensitivity is uh, much lesser here with the uh, um, resistance variation now let us assume we make it 1k okay you can see the very less variation so if you want to change the sensitivity as we mentioned we can change the voltages here like let us assume let us make 22k here okay you can see the variation has increased and if you make it 10k okay you can play around with the uh, resistor values to get the amount of uh, um, various that we wanted in our circuit okay and also we can change the values here that means the gain components that we are changing here okay um, and you can see then there isn't too much of uh, change that we are seeing here because we also have the uh, voltage uh, uh, saturation that is being subjected to 5 volts you now if you have a broader uh, um, voltage that is being applied again that changes uh, uh, that also uh, affects the variation on how much we are going to get it a simple uh, temperature uh, sensor circuit using uh, uh, 741 op amp right uh, you can use it in your uh, uh, circuit directly uh, play around with the discrete components around the differential amplifier and uh, uh, sense the temperature in your circuits thank you